Okay, it's been a while since I've made a video. I was on holidays and then I got COVID and I still have COVID. But I thought I'd <laughs> do a, a few questions here. For the following exercise, determine the intervals where F is increasing or decreasing. Local, min and max. Where is concave up and concave down? The inflection points. Okay. Huh? Oh, what's happened now? Okay. Okay. Firstly, uh, where it's increasing. So let's see. We want the derivative, and then we want the derivative to be positive. Then we want the der derivative to be negative. Oh, that's strange. Ah. Oh. That's weird. That's strange. Why isn't it? Hmm. Maybe it doesn't like that. Okay. Yeah, okay, great. And I think I think what we'll do as well is we'll uh, we'll make the graph as well to help us decide. Okay, local min or max, concave up, concave down, and then inflection points. Okay. Um, Okay. okay, intervals where it's increasing or decreasing, minus one to one, okay. So, you can see where it's concave up. You can see where it's concave down. This this point here, uh, a quarter. Yeah, I think it's I think it's all it's all clear here in the graph. I suppose we should 
we should write it down, huh? But, um, Two thirty. What intervals where it's increasing? So increasing um, will be from here minus five over four. Two. Three over four decreasing um will be minus one to here, which is um minus one over four. Oh, I'm, I'm did I write mine? Yeah, no, that's wrong. Minus one over four, and then decreasing again from here three quarters to one concave up and concave down so concave up will be minus one to um <laughs> a quarter Concave down would be a quarter to one. And then inflection point is that a quarter? Yeah, okay. 232. I should check the answer. <laughs> increasing decreasing uh, but shouldn't but shouldn't there be bounds of one though like minus one to minus a two minus a quarter I'd rather I think it would have been better yeah, I mean, it matches up, but it's, uh, yeah. Um, minimum. Oh, did I miss where it says minimum? Oh, minimum and maximum, yeah. Um, minus a quarter and three quarters. That's C. No, that's B. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, looks okay. Uh, next one. Okay. X plus sine 2X. And then um, it's minus pi over two. So that's about minus one point. Yeah, okay. That should be enough for the graph then. Okay. Okay. A increasing. So increasing from here. Um just minus pi over three to pi over three uh, 
decreasing. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's the range here? Minus pi over 2. Yeah, that's 1.5 then, okay. Um, okay, okay. Um, decreasing would be pi over 3 to 1. That's decreasing. And then decreasing would be, uh, not 1, it's pi over 2. And then also minus pi over 2. Uh, to minus pi over 3. Local min and max. Um, min at minus pi over 3. Max pi over 3. Um, concave up, concave down. <laughs> concave up, concave down. So concave up will be minus pi over 2 to 0 and then 0 to uh, pi over 2 inflection point 0 Okay. Um, pi over two and minus pi over two. Okay. Okay. Two tree tree. sine x plus tan x Ooh. Okay. Um mm. you know what I need to okay. Let's keep it just the reels. Yeah, okay. Um, increasing minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Decreasing mm, nowhere. Um, concave up, concave down. Concave up is zero to pi over two, and then down is minus pi over two to zero. Um, max is none. Uh, I mean a diver. Yeah, none. None. The inflection point um, minus 
No, these are outside the range. So uh, inflection point at zero. Let's check the answer. Thirty-three. Increase it for all x. Yeah. Uh, no decrease in the mentioned. <laughs> no local min or max. Um, yeah, none. Concave up. Concave down. Uh, inflection point at zero. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to stress myself out too much. I will try and finish these graph questions tomorrow, maybe, if I feel up to it. <laughs>